بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Welcome to episode 9 of the Salah series In this episode we'll take the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله in which he said indeed a man would leave Salah a person would pray and leave Salah and he only gets from the reward or from his Salah a tenth of it they only get written down recorded meaning in reward from their Salah a tenth of it a ninth of it one ninth of that person's salah is what they got now. or an eighth of it or set or a seventh of it or a sixth of it one sixth of it or one fifth of it or one fourth of it meaning a quarter of it only or a third of it or half of it in this hadith the Prophet is indicating that sometimes person would pray and they would leave salah they they're done with their salah they're done they finished their salah and what they got for, out of their salah could be, they didn't get the full salah the full reward for their salah meaning sometimes they get as much as half sometimes they get much less than that as much the Prophet start off by saying a tenth of it just one tenth in other words 10% of a person's salah the reward that they would would have gotten for that salah they only got 10% of it one tenth of it because why, why is that the case because again they don't have khushu, they might have not perfected it, they might have not thought about what they're saying, they're praying but their mind is somewhere else, they're rushing through maybe the acts, they're not taking their time with each position of the salah, with saying the words, with um, focusing on their salah, they might be looking around, again as we mentioned in a previous episode that the looking around is shaitan stealing from a person's prayer, you know, so the Prophet is again, pointing out that be careful not to pray and then leave your salah being done with your salah and not have much of its reward written for you not actually get the benefit the end result of what we the goal behind the salah the goal is to perform the salah in order to get closer to Allah in order to achieve the reward behind it in order to achieve you know increase our taqwa increase our iman in order to to achieve all those goals those are that's the purpose behind the salah so the Prophet ﷺ is warning us to be careful not to be from those who we'd finish off our salah, we're done with our salah, but we didn't really get much of it. Whether those who only get half of the reward, a quarter of the reward, a third of the reward, a fifth of the reward, a sixth of the reward, a seventh, or an eighth, or a ninth, or even a tenth of the reward. A person only gets to a one tenth of the reward for their salah. Just 10% of what they should have gotten out of their salah if they performed it properly with khushur, you know, the right way, taking their time, reciting, you know, um, reflecting over the meaning, focusing on, on their salah, but losing all these things, bit by bit, a person's reward is detracted until they are left with very little reward, if any, if any. Barakallah fikum, jazakallah khaira, wassalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.